Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to give you some examples of how to price your private coaching services. Now, the prices I'm going to give you are an example of pretty much on average what coaches who we are working with and who are part of our business accelerator program are charging in their with their training. Okay? So I want you to also take into account that a lot of the figures I'm going to give you today are based on coaches that we work with who create membership, monthly membership type of programs. Right, so even though these numbers might be quite high, right, the reason why they are high is because coaches are adding a lot of value to their program. Okay, most of the coaches we work with, they don't just turn up to a training session, take the session, the the client goes home and the coach goes home and that's it. And then we and then they repeat the, the following week. Right? There's a lot of accountability that coaches create with the clients they work with. There's also a lot of extras that the coaches do away from the session that provides a lot more value to the client. Okay, so when you see these figures, most most coaches are going to think, "Wow, these you know these numbers are are ridiculous. These numbers are impossible." But I can guarantee you, this is an average of what uh, private trainers that we work with charge. And you know, if you want to jump on a on a free fifteen to twenty minute call with me, I'll be more than happy to show show you some success stories some testimonials of coaches who are currently charging this. And, you know, I can show you a couple of ways of how you can get to that level uh, with your business. Right, so the first type of business model. So if you're running one-on-one -on -one private training, now what I like to call this is, I like to call this premium one-to-one -one training. And on average, the coaches we work with, what they're charging per month is $500, okay? So private training should be your most expensive training option, and it should be really expensive to the point that parents look at your pricing and they think to themselves, do you know what? The, the group training is a lot more affordable. We're just going to go into the group training. Okay. The reason why you want your your one-on-one your -on -one training to be extremely expensive is because it's ultimately the, the type of training that requires a lot of personal attention from, from you as a coach. It requires a lot of energy and effort. Okay. And also you know, your clients are getting a customized experience with you. Okay, so on average, a lot of the coaches that we work with, what they're doing is they're charging anywhere between $350 to $500 per month for a private training. Okay, and that includes training once a week, so one training session per week, plus a lot of bonus and accountability that they set their clients to do on a weekly basis so that when they get to the next session with the with the trainer okay they have got those extra touches they've either done homework or they've given the coach a report on how they did in their match on the weekend okay so for one-on-one -on -one training on average the coaches we work with they're charging anywhere between three four five hundred dollars Okay, there's some coaches that we work with that charge even more than that. But on average, the coach that we work with is charging around $500 per month for one-on-one -on -one premium training. Now, the second option is semi-private. Right, so semi-private is where it's one, two clients and one coach. Okay, so one coach, two clients, and it's still becoming a very personalized experience for the client right because when you're working with with two players okay you can still give that that individual attention and you can still kind of customize the training 
based on, on, on the needs of the client. Okay, so the average coach in our program, what they are charging for, for semi-private training is anywhere between two to three hundred dollars per month for this type of service, right? Now, this service is a little bit more affordable than one-on-one -on -one training just because it's not one-on-one, -on -one, it's, it's in kind of like a, a semi-private environment, right? It's not exactly group yet, it's, it's one coach, two clients, so it's still very individualized. You can still kind of treat it as one-on-one, -on -one, but it's a more affordable option for parents who can't afford your, your premium one-on-one -on -one training. Also, this is a great option because for coaches who want to scale their business, okay, working with two clients at once reduces the amount of coaching uh, sessions you do per week. So the reason why you want to make one-on-one -on -one training the premium uh, price, right, the premium type of training is because you want to weed out and you want to add less one-on-one -on -one training sessions to your schedule. You want to move most of your clients into either semi-private or group uh, training, which is something I'm going to talk about uh, later in this video. Okay, so you've got premium one-on-one -on -one training, which most of the coaches we work with are charging anywhere between three, four, five hundred dollars per month, which is one training session per week. Then second option is semi-private, which is your second most expensive option. And most coaches we work with are charging anywhere between two to three hundred dollars per month for that type of service. Okay. Now the third option is small group training. So small group training, when I think of small groups, I think of anywhere between four, six to eight players, you're training at once. Okay. Now this is, is still a customized type of experience, right? You can still provide a lot of personal attention, but it still has that, that group feeling of it. Okay, so working with four, six to eight players, you can still create a game-like situations within that training session, which maybe in one-on-one -on -one and semi-private becomes a little bit more difficult to create. Okay, because when you work with a group of either four, six or, or eight uh, clients at once, you know, you can work on 2v2s, you can work on 3v3s, 4v4s. Right, whatever you want to work on, and it kind of creates that, that group type of feel or that team kind of feel, and you can still uh, create those uh, situations that those players are going to go through in a game environment. And because there's a lot more kids in, in the group at once, okay, because you're working with a lot more players at once, this becomes even more affordable for parents because you're you're essentially giving less attention than in one-on-one -on -one or semi-private. So most of the coaches who we work with, on average, are charging anywhere between $100 to $150 per month for group training. Okay, And these are training sessions that they run once per week. They can either be a 60-minute sessions or, or a 90-minute session. Okay, and this is a membership type of type of a uh, model where parents are paying monthly for your training session. Okay, right. So the fourth business model and the fourth way to either price out your 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 training. Okay, so the fourth service you, you can offer is camps. Right. So on average, what we teach coaches in our program is the ones that run camps is to run eight up to eight camps per year okay so running eight camps per year is pretty much one one camp every every two months okay and these are kind of more open group type of camps okay so these are camps where you can have anywhere between 10 to 20 to 25 kids at once coming to you okay and also there's there's a less of a commitment for parents 
okay? Because with, with private training, those parents have to see you on a weekly basis. With camps, you can run them either once every two months or once every, every quarter, depending on, on how you, you want to structure your camps, okay? Now, again, what we teach our coaches to do is to run up to eight per year, okay? And the structure in terms of pricing for, for these types of camps, on average, what coaches are charging is $150 per camp, okay? So depending on how you want to structure your camp, so it could be a two-hour camp, it could be a four-hour camp, could be a one-and-a-half-hour camp, okay? But on average, the coaches that we work with are charging $150 per camp, okay? So let me take the maths now. So if you are a coach and you want to work with, uh, well, you want to you want to run camps per year. If you run, okay, eight camps per per year, and you're charging one hundred and fifty dollars, okay, that is, say for example, you have I don't know twelve clients that attend your camps, right? So let's do one hundred and fifty times 12 equals $1,800 per camp. Now, if you're running eight of them per year, that would bring in an extra 14K into your business while you're not coaching them every single week, right? You can run one camp every two months and that will bring in on average anywhere between 12 to, to 15k per per year running those camps if your camps are for, for anywhere between uh, well up to 12 players per camp okay so camps are a great option because they it's less commitment from the parent and for the player and if you're running them once every two two months right parents have a lot of time to prepare and make sure that their schedule can fit around uh, those camps. Now, in terms of payment and, and how you can charge for these, the most of the coaches we work with, they charge upfront for the for the eight uh, camps that they run during the year. Okay, so you can either run it on a subscription model where parents are getting charged every every month for those camps or you can charge it up front so parents are essentially paying up front for those uh, eight months and what you can do to make it a little bit more affordable you can offer parents a discount if they pay up front for those eight camps during the course of of 12 months and the year okay now the fifth option so if you run clinics Right, clinics is your most should be your most affordable option. Okay, clinics should be your your most affordable option, and it should be an option where you run at least twelve clinics per year. So that that on average equals to one clinic per month, and these are specific clinics. Right, these are clinics where it could be skill specific, it could be age specific, or it could be gender specific. Okay, so skill specific, if you're in soccer, you could work on something very specific. So it could be either passing, uh, receiving, striking, shooting. Uh, if, you're, if you like to work with goalkeepers, you can work uh, with goalkeepers in your clinic. So it's specific to a certain skill within your sport. Okay, if you're in basketball, it could be an offensive clinic where you're working with players who, who are more offensive. It could be working with uh, defensive players, uh, shooting, ball handling. Okay, Any of those things, you can customize those clinics however, however you want. And if you're running one clinic per month, the coaches we work with, what they, they tend to charge is $75 per clinic uh, per month. So this is... Coaches that we work with, they're running one clinic per month, and on average they're charging 75 up to $90 okay, per, 
per, per clinic once a month. Okay? This is a great option because if you get a lot of interest for your program, but a lot of co uh, parents can't commit to a three, six, nine or 12 month private training uh, commitment, moving them and transition them into your clinics is a lot more affordable for them. And also there's less of a commitment as it's only once a month that they're attending your training. Okay. Also, if you run these clinics per month, you, you'll be able to attract more kids who aren't currently part of your, your private training program. And then any kid, you know, any kid, any client, any player that's in, in those clinics, you can then transition them into either your one-on-one -on -one higher end training, your small groups or your semi-private or even your, your camps. Okay, so clinics is a more affordable type of option. So if you get a lot of parents that maybe can't afford your higher end type of training, you can move them into clinics where they're still getting great training with you, but there's less of a commitment and it's, it's a lot more affordable air for them. Okay, so if you need any help with this, two ways to get in contact with me. You can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call via Zoom. Visit the Canonly link in the description of this video. You can jump on Zoom, talk about any of the topics that we talked about today, any of your any of the training options, how to structure them and how to price them out. Or if you want to, you can send me an email directly to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right, before you go, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content we put out. Thank you.